six o'clock. Is it six? It's six. Is it six o'clock? Uh-huh. Okay, well, I guess we should go live. I think we're live. I think we're live. Let's see. What do you... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think we're live. Hello, everyone. It is Phil and Heather, and it has been four weeks since our last live stream. So uh, we're happy to be back. And uh, it is, what is today, December the 10th, mm -hmm. and we are live right here in Ultawa. Who are you talking to there? I was posting it on Facebook. On Face Busy? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, anyway, Haru! 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 That's from a movie. You know what movie it is? Nope. <laughs> I can't remember it either, but it's, I, I think it was 1941. I think the movie's called 1941. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a comedy. Oh. Who would have thunk it? Harbor yeah. So, uh, let's see. What have you been doing? Um, taking pictures. Am I interrupting your typing? Yes, I'm trying to type. Okay. It's okay. All right, well, finish typing, and I'll talk about some stuff. Okay, so, uh, let me show you something. I got all crazy recently about these Helios lenses, this 44-2 thing. And so the first thing that happened was I ordered this one. I ordered this Helios 44-2. This one is from 1981 and I ordered it domestically and the the guy took forever to ship it, and then, the, you know, the postage service has been crazy this year, and then it took it forever to come. So, while I was waiting for that one to come, thinking it's probably not going to come, and I'm going to have to cancel my order, and anyway, try to figure out how to get my money back, I went ahead and ordered this one. This one is from 1976, and I ordered this one from England. And it came in, and I've done a lot of, uh, I've done a lot of shots with both of these now. And on this one, I did the, I, I took it, the lens has four elements, one, two, three, four, and there's a modification you can do to these where you take the, the lens apart and take the front element out and turn it the other way. And I've done that and it, the, the background is amazing, but you, it's really hard to get things sharp. So anyway, this one, and then, uh, I was goofing around on uh, eBay and I found Remember this one, I got a 76 and an 81 and I found one that was in the Ukraine. So it hasn't, th these are Russian lenses. I found one that was in the Ukraine and I ordered it and it's the newest one. It's from 19, uh, 1989. So now I have three Helios lenses. So I have a problem. Well, uh, <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> yeah. So, um, my friend and viewer, Cuban rum texted me because he had he's he has bought one of these helios lenses he texted me the other day yesterday was it yesterday uh, yeah i think so because you ran in the kitchen and said wait it's yes it's cubist room yeah so anyway he texted me and asked me if that lens had, or we talked about it a little bit and he got to telling me about a lens and so um he was talking about how cool it is and and uh, he even sent me a sample image so Anyway, so now I have ordered this, this Yashica Yashinon DX 50mm f1.7. So I came running into the kitchen and I said, it's all Cuban Rum's fault. It's all Cuban Rum's fault. He made me do it. Uh, he I was, did. I was preparing Heather for the, um, for the package to arrive whenever it comes in. So anyway, I'm going to have more 50mm lenses than, than uh, a camera stop shop, although these are 55s. Hmm. So let's put these up, up here in the cabinet. So there's another lens that I've kind of got my eye on. You don't know about this one. Oh no. <clears throat> this is a, this is a next year thing. This is a, a lens, I, I guess you can get it for, for um, APS-C Sony cameras, Canon cameras, and Fuji cameras. And of course I would use it for a Fuji camera. This is a Mitagon Zangi <laughs> Speedmaster 35mm 
F0.95 and apparently the Mark II version of this which I have on the screen now is supposed to be dynamite the angry photographer guy keeps talking about how great it is and I don't have any fast primes for my little Fuji camera and as you can see by all these manual focus lenses I don't mind a manual focus lens so I may pick one of those up one day I don't know exactly when but I may pick up one of those lenses at some point because as we mentioned I have a problem what's up with you not a whole lot been, not, not much yeah I've been taking pictures with my Z50 do you like it mm -hmm, I like it a lot I had my first paid gig the other day. What? Paid gig. What? What'd you take pictures of? Dogs. Doggies? I mean, who are we kidding? Dogs. Dogs. Yeah, Heather likes dogs. And cats. <laughs> or, and dogs. Dogs and cats. Those pictures were great, by the way. She took pictures of these two uh, pit bulls. These two crazy pit bulls. And they, they're short-legged and wide like like a English bulldog, like our dog, like a Georgia, <laughs> so cute. like a Georgia bulldog, but they have pit bull heads. It's crazy. Uh, is there a, like a special breed that, that I honestly have no idea. I just knew that they were cute and sweet and they wanted to just sit in my lap. <laughs> they look absolutely <laughs> evil, but, They're but, so cute. but uh, Heather says they were sweet. You know, you can get this lens in silver, Ooh, That's cool. silver or black. Which one do you think is cooler? I mean, honestly, I would do the black just because. Yeah, me too. Because, but Pro probably the silver's so. cool. Yeah. I might do the silver just because it's the special less than F1 lens. So, yeah, she posted, you posted them on, did you post them on your Facebook photography page? Mm -hmm. You know, Heather has a Facebook photography page. It's uh, Heather Boyd Art, Art and, and Photography. Oh, I need to press a button up here. I think I'm, yeah, that's more better. Uh, I couldn't monitor my monitor. Hey, what do y'all think about the light in this room? We changed, you know, when we first started doing live streams, it was in the summer and at at 5.30 or 6, we didn't have any studio lighting in here at all. And at 5.30 or 6, I, we had sunlight coming in through the, we got two 72 inch tall and I don't know, two and a half foot wide windows side by side so it's like 72 like six foot by five foot of glass and we would just open up the blinds and get side light well now it's pitch dark at the same time of day so we have lights in here so let us know if the lighting is terrible or okay or joy says it's perfect horrible joy says it's perfect well that is very nice mike says it looks fine <laughs> mike says i have a bad case of gas boy you have no idea in more ways than one uh, hmm. <laughs> uh any other comments we should oh there's the sun the aliens will appear. It's a, it's very possible that that could happen. <laughs> I don't why, know. Why are, not? are they the ones leaving the model lists everywhere? Oh yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? What uh, have y'all seen those monoliths that are being found all over the Earth? Well, if you have, uh, <laughs> they they just appear in these strange places all over the world, and. Um, <laughs> Heather found one that she she found a meme about them and what did it say? It said, "Hello, we have been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty." <laughs> Which is funny. My car is in 1999. It doesn't need an extended warranty, and they wouldn't provide one for it at that age anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see here. I should. Um, oh, I've got a list of things to talk about. We talked about the Helios. We talked about the. Uh, lens that that um, Cuban Rum made me buy because because I really was happy to do it. You know what? If a lens costs forty four dollars and free shipping, I mean, who cares? You know, it's, it's, <laughs> uh, if me and Heather and Casey eat a uh, counter service, which is the cheap kind of food at Disney World, it costs a good bit more than that lens. It costs so it's more. Yeah. yeah, it's not like I'm uh, I've just gone out and bought a a uh, a knocked 58 f 0 0.95 for 79.99 it's a 44 dollar lens okay um i got to get this oh y'all want to see some some behind the scenes this is what uh the live stream looks like if you are 
uh, running yeah, one. Streamer. Yeah, shows stream health and how many blah blah blahs, and you can see the comments. Oh. Should probably. Uh... Uh, I can't type. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a behind the scenes for you while I had this monitor over here doing this thingy. I need to put this back over here. Mm -hmm. And then let's make this big over there. Um, seems like Channel I, of the Week. Oh, oh, I love the Channel of the Week this week. I love the Channel of the Week this week. I love it. Okay, so I, uh, occasionally I'll do a Channel of the Week. Uh, uh, the prerequisites to be Channel of the Week is the channel has to have uh, less than 10,000 subscribers, and it has to be something that I really think is pretty cool. And uh, this channel has 23 subscribers, and I think it's extraordinarily cool. So this is a band, uh, a band that is uh, a Chattanooga band called Strung Like a Horse. Not strong like a horse, but strung like a guitar would be strung. Uh, and they, they've had a YouTube channel for a long time, but they've, they've gotten a record deal, and now they've got a new YouTube channel called Strung Like a Horse Vivo. And on that YouTube channel, there's only one video. It's, it's the music video for their new song, Crazy Like Me. And it's a pretty cool little tune, and I, I really wish that you guys would stop by Strung Like a Horse Vivo and watch that video. It's only, it'll only take three minutes out of your day and leave them a comment telling them that Phil sent you. That would be awesome. Uh, now let me tell you about this band. They're, they're a band that's been around Chattanooga for a long, long time and they are pretty good. They're kind of a, kind of like a heavy bluegrass band. Mm -hmm. But this particular song, this Crazy Like Me, is more like a, more like a pop song, really. And the thing about it that, the reason I'm sharing it with you guys is because the locations where this video was shot were places that you will see on, on our YouTube channel all the time. Uh, a lot of it is done at Enterprise South Nature Park which is uh, you know where you see us going all the time with those bunkers. Uh, that place has, it has 100 of those bunkers and some of them are open. Well, part of that music video was, was filmed there in one of those bunkers. And uh, me and uh, my daughter Casey and her friend Ian, we hiked the six point something mile Atlas Loop bicycle trail some of this video was filmed on the Atlas Loop Bicycle Trail there at Enterprise South Nature Park. Um, you can see uh, Clay Masil, the, the head guy of the band, he's in the back of this truck, handcuffed and shot and bleeding. And the, the gravel road that they're on, this is at uh, Prentice Cooper um, Wildlife, wildlife um, um, Game Reserve, basically. And uh, the, the nurse driving the truck, that's his wife in, uh, in real life. And anyway, so uh, there's at Prentice Cooper, there's this field of trees that are part, that are planted perfectly in straight lines and they do some of the video there. And there's another place at Prentice Cooper where they've, um, where they've kind of clear cut a small area. Some of the videos filmed there. And then there's a drone shot of Clay uh, running and almost falling off the edge of Snoopers Rock, which I did a Snoopers Rock video that came out just, I don't know, probably less than, I can't remember when it came out, but not too awful long ago I did a Snoopers Rock video. And the very last shot of the drone flies up and you can see from the gravel road, you can, if you pay attention to the very last second, you can see the Tennessee River Gorge. Anyway, Strung Like a Horse, Vivo, watch the Crazy Like Me video and if you want to take a second and comment and tell them Phil sent you, that would be awesome. They're a great band, a uh, great song. And, the, and the, you know, the song tells one story. And this is kind of common with music videos. The song tells one story. And the, uh, somebody said they love my channel. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Uh, <laughs> and the video tells a similar but different story. And that's kind of common in music videos. And both of the stories are, are kind of mm -hmm. entertaining. So, what else do we got? Let's see, we don't have a thank you this week. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to everyone <laughs> who views the channel. Thank you for everyone who sends in pictures to the live stream. Um, 
Really appreciate it. The videos, although the Snoopers Rock video didn't do very good, but the the last three or four videos have been doing really good, so much appreciation. And can you believe this is Lucky 13? This is our 13th live stream, which is um, a lot. Most of them were every two weeks, and some of them were a month apart, but we've done a lot of live streams. Mm -hmm. Any comments? Shalom from Israel. Oh. Yes. Um, this person joining from Israel says that he loves the channel. No, oh, Cuban Room says it's sharpest attack on his side. Very cool. Oh, there's Blue Newt. Hello. Hello. Anybody else we should say hi to that I don't see on the screen? Um, Mike, Joy, Peter, Cuban Room. Oh, I think um, Richard. Richard. Okay. Hello, Germany. Awesome. Hello everybody. Okay, so um, didn't get a whole lot of pictures this time. I mean, not not a tiny amount, but we've we've definitely gotten uh, a notable amount more than this. Oh, that which reminds me, Joy, how are you feeling? She said she's gonna have an MRI on on Monday. Something's wrong with her neck and her back. Well, we hope you feel better soon. Yeah. We, we do. We do. We do. All right. Without further ado, uh, let's. Take a look at these pictures. This week, the the photo challenge was uh, light trails um, was kind of the main challenge. But if not light trails, then just something with a long exposure. And we've got we've got a lot of both. And you know the um, the thing that's cool about long exposure photography, you can get really creative. And uh, we've got some good examples of that here. So hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Hi, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, if I can figure out the right button. All right, so here are our 37 pictures. And look, I highlighted number one so I don't so mess it up. So you don't mess it up so this I don't, time? So I don't, uh, I mean, I'll, I'm sure I'll mess something up eventually. But right now, I'm not messing anything up. So let's see. Bill let's see is Bill. Bill is first. And he sent. He had four. I think the the Lee Big Stopper is 10 stops and the Super Stopper is 15 stops. I could be wrong about that. But he has he's using some... Uh, some Indies. Yeah, some of those big Lee ND filters. So, let's go. Okay, this... I, I love that he's put the, the amount of time in, mm -hmm. in his file name. So this is a paper mill. 30 second shot I love the, look at the uh, and the black and white is oh, really cool in yeah. this and the way the smoke is trailing off yeah that's really cool and look at the uh, look at the light stars here yeah I love those light stars and I guess you know just like the paper mill in um, in Cleveland mm -hmm. uh, Bowwater, Bowwater it's it's it looks like it's right on a river yeah most of them typically are yeah that makes sense I bet it smells nice right there mm-hmm <laughs> Very cool. Let's yeah. uh, let's full screen it because that's a sixteen by nine. Yeah, I like this a b quite a bit. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. I like it a lot. It's cool to see the lights shining through. Oh yeah, this the, the light starts through the through yeah, the uh, through the. I guess that's water vapor. Yeah, probably. Very cool. Thank you, Bill. All right, now this is uh, the second appearance of this amazing photograph. Uh, this is a one-minute shot. He flew his his drone around this uh, Christmas light laden light tower, and you've got the, the the light tower and the reflection of the light tower and the drone with a loom cube uh, festooned to it, flying a circle around this light tower. Mm -hmm. And I love the you know the water looks totally smooth because of the long exposure, but yeah. you could see where the ripples were, you know as the drone flew by. Just a fantastic shot. Let's full screen that one too. Yeah. That is cool. That is very cool. Very cool indeed. 60 seconds. I think there's a cat. Beneath oh, is me. she back? She the return of the, <laughs> of the obese kitty. <laughs> totally awesome. Yeah, that's great. 
All right. So like and now it. this is a new one. This is 120 seconds. So I guess that would be two minutes. Two minutes, two minutes to you and I. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's a. I guess this boat must have been going by really slowly. Yeah. I mean, I, mean I, I guess it's just one boat, wouldn't you think? Yeah, it's got to just be the one. Because the lines are exact. And it looks like, I mean, it looks and like you can they're see in a the, marina. So. Yeah, and you can see the, the ripples in the water. But even though the water was ripply, the boat stayed perfectly mm -hmm. smooth as it went by. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, two that's minutes, cool. F10, ISO 250 with a 14 millimeter ultra wide. You can see just the slightest rock. Yeah, yeah, these. the boats are definitely, yeah, yeah. those boats are definitely moving some. Yeah. But not a lot. Yeah, so uh, it had to be pretty going common. slow. I mean, the you know, the, this the boat is probably what caused it those yeah. boats to to wobble. Yeah, like these boats back here are wobbling less because mm -hmm. he probably closed his shutter before the waves got to those. Uh -huh. Really cool, full screen. Full screen. Yeah, I love the colors in this too. Yeah, I do too. The sky almost looks like it's painted. Yeah, you know the clouds. Yeah. And because the the stars, because it's a two minute exposure, they've moved a little. Yeah. Like a like a light trail almost. I mean a star trail. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Very cool. Alright, so this one is 150 seconds. So how long is that? Two minutes and two and a half minutes? Yeah. With the super stopper. And like I was saying before, I guess that's a a uh a fifteen stop. And he's uh, he's got his ISO all the way down to 50, which I'm betting that's probably an extended, and F22, so he's closed down as much as he can close down, probably. Yeah. Really wide shot of 12 millimeter, great reflection, so you get the amazing looking clouds that you get on a super long exposure, both in the sky and in the water. Full screen. <laughs> yeah, that's Very cool. cool. Very cool. Right. Thanks, Bill. Let's we see. have a question. Oh, what, what are we asking? Any recommendations for a beginner camera under a thousand dollars? A Z Z50. fifty. A Z fifty with the two lens kit. Uh, it might be a smidge over a thousand, but not much. Yeah. And go ahead and get an FTZ adapter for forty six ninety five while you're at it. Yeah. That is the way to go, in my opinion, for a thousand dollar camera. Didn't it? Like, no, never mind. Didn't it? No, never mind. I thought it was on some list we were looking at as the best. Um... It's on my list. Z50. Yep. <laughs> Z50. We like it a lot. We're big fans. Uh, you know, we've got cameras in this house that cost way, way more than that. And still, we often shoot with that Z50 because it does so great. And it's super, super lightweight. And those in and, and this type of photography that we're doing tonight, uh, long exposure photography, is where those two kit lenses excel because you can you don't need a really wide aperture for this type of photography. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Z50 is perfect for this type of work, yeah. as we may demonstrate later in. Oh this yeah, I think my two photos were week. made with the Z50. And uh, I think at least one of mine was. All right. Let's see who's next. This oh, this oh, is Cuban, Cuban rum. rum. Cuban rum. I like the Santa. <laughs> Cuban rum, who makes me buy stuff, <laughs> and I'm totally okay with that. He says, "Hi, Phil and Heather. Here are my photos for the stream, and I am looking at the wrong Cuban rum message. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the Cuban rum message from like a month ago." Hi, Phil and Heather. Hope you are doing well. We are. Thank you. Uh, here are my photos for the stream. I wanted to do a star trail, but didn't have a chance to get into the Everglades, and we'll be doing that next weekend. Oh, send that in anyway. Love, yeah. Would love to see it. Okay, photo one, which this Let's is, uh, taken in Coral Gables, Florida. That is the courthouse in the center. So oh, right that's there, that's pretty. a it's a good looking courthouse. Yeah. Look at got a little statue action. Better mm. be better be Walt Disney. It's probably not. <laughs> uh, and, and a Christmas park is on the left of it. Right behind me is the is the Leica store. That's cool. Mm. So that's probably a, a pretty uh, affluent neighborhood with a Leica store. I love the stars. Yeah. 
How many points is that? Is that eight, is that a fourteen? Seventeen points. That's probably eighteen. That's probably eighteen. Yeah. Oh, so he's using the the. the oh, the twenty F one eight. Yeah. Ooh, that's a lens that I have mm. kind of wanted for a minute. That's nice. Twenty millimeter F one point eight. So I guess that's a nine bladed aperture, which leads to an eighteen point star. And man, it's really good. You know, they. Um, it's said that the um, that the the. 20 millimeter f 1.8 f mount lens has some of the best light stars of any lens made by anybody. Oh, really? And it looks like the Z mount 20 millimeter 1.8 has some pretty fantastic light stars. Like, you know, my 24 to 70, mm -hmm. it's a nine bladed aperture and it'll, it does 18 pointed stars, but they're not as the, the, they're, the, not, as they're not as crisp yeah. as that. Like my, my, the, the seven bladed aperture on my 70 to 210, even though they're only uh, four, 14 pointed stars, they're way more like this mm -hmm. uh, than the ones are on, on the much more expensive 2470 F2.8 G. Yeah. This one's the Z mount blue nuke. She asked if it was the Z or yeah. the G. Yeah, uh, yeah. Nick Core Z 20 millimeter F1.8 S. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Great job, Cuban Rum. Thank. Oh, wait, that's 16 by 9. Full screen. Oops. <laughs> Get on the right screen. Oops. Oh, man. You done gone I done crap. messed it. Plum slap up. There we go. <laughs> full screen. And it looks even better full screen. Very cool. Yeah. Like All right. Thank you, Cuban Rum. Let's see what's next. This one's number two. Number two. Photo two, also taken in Coral Gables, about two blocks from the courthouse. I was really hoping that the sculpture was lighted up, but sadly it wasn't, and the flowers are supposed to uh -huh. mist water, but they are broken. Uh -huh. Cost of the sculpture was $1.2 million. The artist is Alice Aycock. Aycock. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got the, some nice... Look, there's light trails coming all over the place. Got yeah. Little, they kind of like S curve in here and then they S curve out over here. You see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's awesome. It, it almost looks like there might be, a, well, that's probably just I wonder S if curve. it's a roundabout. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I bet that, that, that kind of looks like a roundabout right over there. Oops, I did it again. Yeah, see those light stars are really crisp. This, oh, this light star over here is less crisp. And it reminds me more of the of the light stars off of my twenty four to seventy. Oh yeah, he said it's two roundabouts. Oh okay, well, yeah, that, that makes sense. You know, and we had talked about uh, Heather and I had talked about it, and and my buddy Ray Soldano and I had talked about doing light trails at a roundabout, and we never did do it. Mm -mm. Uh, and there's a few places in Chattanooga with roundabouts, but maybe next time. Very cool. Thanks, Cuban Rum. All right, this is another uh, man. You wearing that twenty millimeter f one point eight out? Just making me jelly. That costs a lot. <laughs> that costs a lot more than forty four dollars. I got a feeling. Okay, so uh, the city of Miami with the Mac MacArthur Causeway taken from the parking lot of the grocery store. That's awesome. Man, what a cool place to put a grocery store. Yeah, that is fantastic. That's beautiful. I like that quite a bit. You know, it's interesting these days because cars headlights used to all be the exact same color, but now cars headlights are all different colors. Right. So you get some really interesting, you, you know, you can't some. see it as much here, but you can really see all the colors. You get the warm ones and here. the cool ones. Yeah, and, and it's something else in between. Mm -hmm. It's really neat. And then, of course, you can see where these uh, taillights get brighter and darker as people break in this turn. Yeah. And then got the pretty stars, and I wonder what that is. I guess that must be uh, that, uh, those must be cranes to load stuff off, on and off of ships, maybe back maybe. there. Really pretty. Yeah, I like this. Very nice, Cuban rum. Thank you. RD said it would be cool to do a drone shot at a roundabout. Yep, that's it. Oh yeah, that would be. That would be completely awesome. Oh, hi, Ron. Oh, he said it's the port of Miami. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's, that's the first time I've seen Ron in here. 
and that and there's uh, uh, Turner Randolph which I think uh, Turner's pictures that he sent today are his first ones ever sent in I could I could be mistaken it's easy for me to forget stuff all right uh, George Nagata has done light trails of an airplane a 30 second shot let me see if I can I never would have thought to do a light trail of an airplane that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can find George's message. Right there. Hi, Phil and Heather. Here are my light trail photos of planes approaching Chicago. I live 10 miles east of O'Hare Airport and took these on Friday evening, November the 20th, where many planes were on their approach to land. He used the Z50 with the 85 F1.8 AI lens attached with the FTZ adapter. Both photos are shot at 125. ISO, F8, and 30 seconds. You see, you know, it's that's a uh, that lens doesn't talk to the to the yeah, camera. So that's manual. why it's showing mm -hmm. zero millimeters and zero f-stop. The mm -hmm. camera knows it it was open for 30 seconds in ISO 125. That's mm -hmm. really cool. I never yeah. would have thought to do that. Look at the. Uh, I guess I wonder how many planes that. That's got to be two planes because yeah, one's going this way. And, we should try that sometime. Yeah. We live close to the Chattanooga Airport. Very cool. All right, let's see. Oh, let's full screen. Full screen. Oh, I'm on the wrong, <laughs> on the wrong monitor again. Full screen. And then look at these planes. Look at the that's crazy awesome. stuff. I mean, I can't even get my head around the craziness. That's. I mean, look at that bank that mm -hmm. this one has to have been doing. And that is wild. Very cool. That is wild. You can um, see the faint red line. Yeah, there must be a beacon in this area because he said he's ten miles. Mm -hmm. There must be a beacon where the, where the planes, if they're um, turning on their approach or something. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Very cool, George. Z fifty, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. who is Heather Boyd? I don't know. I never met her. She must be pretty cool. Now this is a this is a Z fifty shot. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to um, the Chattanooga Electric Power Board, and we went up in the let's full screen that. We went up in the top of their parking garage, and we made lots of shots. One of my shots um, in tonight's video is is from this location, or tonight's live stream. The video from this is not out yet, mm -hmm. um, but it. Yeah, we kind of go into detail about how we made these shots. This is uh, this is the pickle pickle barrel, a little bar down here, and this is Market Street. And is this is this all one shot? Yeah, this was one thirty second exposure. Wow, you got a lot of lights in one thirty second shot. A lot of times in Chattanooga, and I'll demonstrate that later. You kind of have to use several shots and stack them like you would a uh, a light uh, a star trail. That's cool. Thanks. Thanks, Heather. Thanks, thanks everybody. Th thanks for sending that one in. Yeah. Uh, shot on the kit lens. No. Oh no, she used one. the. Oh, sorry. You 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 answer. No, this one's on the Tamron ten to twenty four, but the next one is shot on the kit lens. Do you want to go to the next one, honey? I do. Yeah. So this one's shot with the sixteen to fifty kit lens. This is on. Is that Market Street also? That's Broad Street. Okay, so this is Broad Street, which is one block over, and I think we're at the intersection of Broad Street and Fifth. And this, how many shots is this? This is three. This is she did three, uh, fifteen second shots, and then she she merged them in Photoshop on the lighten um, blend mode, so all the light trails from three shots. And this video has already come out. Yeah, it yeah. has. This 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 video came out uh, a week or so ago mm -hmm. cool full screen oh and that's 16 by 9 mm -hmm. I like 16 by 9 mm -hmm. it's good for video and that is yep that is definitely with the kit lens all right this is Ian Ian from Australia Ian A. Hagen 
Happy Christmas. Sorry I have been absent for a couple of months between COVID and old age. I have been a bit off the mark. Now I'm back. I have mm-hmm. done a little field work, including my first attempt at a mountain waterfall, one rendition of that expedition attached, during which I learned a valuable lesson. All capitals, do not do this on your own at 80 years old. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes good sense. Uh, I probably shouldn't have gone to the waterfall I went to today by myself at 54. Uh, luckily, I was assisted back out by a couple as I scrambled out of the ravine. My other submission is a different look at my favorite view of the old township of Harrington at full moon rising. So that's that's this, mm-hmm. uh, an eight second shot very of Harrington. Very very pretty. Oh, look at the. It's interesting. It looks it looks like you would think it would be a tropical place, and yet there's pine trees everywhere. Yeah. I like the clouds in this. Mm-hmm. And the moon. Yeah. Very nice. Full screen. <laughs> Hear about the full screen in that. I, I, well, I, you know, you can you can see the, cam- uh, the photo better if it's full screen. This is with the, uh, I don't know what camera, but it's with the, probably Z6, I would bet. And he's using the 24-70 f4 lens that comes with the the Z6 and or Z7. Mm. Very nice. Thank you, Ian. And then this is uh, same lens, 24 millimeters, two and a half seconds. Doing a little waterfall photography. Glad you uh, made it home safe from, yeah. from your adventure. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. That kind of reminds me a little bit of the place I was at today. Not exactly, but I guess they got waterfalls all over the planet. Yeah. That's cool. Paul, Paul Blue Falls. Hmm. Very cool. Thanks, Ian. All right. Now, Joey. This is Joey. Uh, whoops. This is Joey Wilkerson. And let me see if I can find his email. My hometown's Christmas light, a different take on light trails with the Ferris wheel moving, with it making different patterns and colors. I'm sending you several. Use the ones which you like. I'm going to just put them all in here. I probably could have waited until it got a little darker, but I thought they turned out cool like this. Actually, uh, he goes back the next night, and I like the ones from the first night best. Mm -hmm. So this one's from the first night. And you can see uh, this is a two-second shot with the 17 to 55 2.8 at f16. And I like that you can still see some blue hour in the sky. And this mm-hmm. Ferris wheel is cool. I mean, it's got all sorts of different lights on it, and he's captured it making all sorts of different patterns. Yeah. I mean, same Ferris wheel in, in all these different patterns. It's really neat. And there's another one. I think this is probably my favorite. The next one. That and one's then, my favorite. Okay, yeah. And this one, and there's, I guess there's some sort of lighted something or another in the trees. It's really mm-hmm. cool, and the reflections on the water. And then the next night, I think, because this one's, these are in order. It started out to where he was having to shoot two seconds, two seconds, two seconds, three seconds, and then 10, ten. seconds. And then the next night, he must have gone a lot later because these are 20 seconds. And mm. I really like the first night shots better. I mean, these are cool, and the reflections are probably better in these. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if that's because the water was calmer or because the, well, that's only four seconds, so it has to have been calmer. A calmer night. Yeah. Calmer night. Um, but I still, I, 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 that's pretty cool that the moon's in this one, but I still like these from the first night yeah. the best when compared to these of the second night. But all of them are cool, and thank you, Joey, for sending them in. Whoa. This is cool. What in the world has happened? Mike, you have to... Uh, he, I need an explanation. Mike has explained this in his email, but I still don't, I can't quite get my head around Because this is only 1.6 seconds, which is a long exposure, but that's a, lot of, that's a lot of information. Let's see if we can find Mike's message. Okay, this... I love his description. This is what happens oh, when pondering on long exposure at the last second after two Bud Lights... <laughs> <laughs> Laser pointer at 1.6 seconds with the EOS R while twirling the lens, twirling the lens on the laser to make a pattern on the back of the screen. Twirling the lens. 
So he's he's physically moving the lens. That is crazy. I it's you know not a lot of times when somebody sends in a picture I can't figure out how it was made, but I still can't get my tiny head around that. That is awesome. It looks it reminds me of uh, I want to see um, Neo from the Matrix. It, it looks like it should be from the Matrix. I just there remember. is no spoon in the Matrix. It is really neat. Does it? I'm just kind of lost in it. I'm like, <laughs> oh. 1.6 seconds. The laser has a lens that, as you twist it, makes different patterns. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were moving the lens of the camera. Yeah. It's crazy looking. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, it's it's totally the Matrix really neat very cool I'm telling you what you need I, I, do four bud lights before your next one and yeah see, let's see what see. <laughs> see what kind of uh, insanity you can come up with that's Hassan <laughs> said Mike is secretly communicating with the machine <laughs> <laughs> yes he is yeah that's really cool thanks Mike thanks for blowing my mind I like that I need my mind blown yeah all right, now see, now this one, I understand how it was made. It's very, very beautiful. But this one, this one I can get. This is Peter. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those where you uh, do a long exposure and you zoom your zoom lens from one focal length to another. Mm -hmm. I did a shot like this looking down off the city park parking garage at the, at oh, the yeah, lights yeah. going across the road. Really, really cool. I've never thought to do it with a Christmas tree. And I, I love the... Uh, Turner Randolph reminds me of college. I love it. <laughs> and then Mike tried to light trails and the police ran me off the bridge. <laughs> I love the warm, uh, the warm yeah. tones in this. Yeah, I do too. It's really, it's really pretty. And uh, um, it's like a porcupine Christmas tree. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's cool. It's very cool. Yeah. Whose house is that? Is that, is that your house, Peter? It's really pretty. I like the paintings, how they yeah. look in very cool let's I, I'm, I don't know if he put a long description uh, last minute Christmas three years ago Nikon D 712 megapixel old camera but still his favorite 20 second exposure f27 oh. zooming during exposure very cool he said it's his house yeah it's pretty cool it's pretty nice floors nice oh, paintings yeah, I like those floors. oh there's the kitty cat Oh yeah, you gotta Heather's have, gonna find the kitty cat. Gonna, if there's a cat, Heather's gonna know where it's at. That is for sure. Full screen. I full screened it. I know. So you can see the cat better. Oh thanks. There's a certain um, dreamy quality about the way the Christmas tree looks. Yeah. And it's I guess it's because of that zoom, you know. Oh yeah, probably. Uh but it's it's interesting to me that the paintings are not uh, altered. Peter said he has nine cats. Well, that is eight more than us, but we have a bulldog, so we're even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Mike said this will make a great Christmas card. He's right. Yeah, but you know what I mean? I, I, now my mind's yeah. blown now that I think about it because during that Zoom, mm -hmm. those paintings should get uh, discombobulated, but they didn't. So that's, uh, there you have it. Hmm. Maybe he did the exposure for a really long time and then did the zoom pretty quick and then the shutter closed. Yeah. So that, uh, um, anyway, it's cool. Yeah, I like it. I do too. Okay, what's next? Ne oh, that's oh, me. Oh, you. Okay, so this was the night that we were on the electric power board um, parking garage and Heather's shot was looking... This is Market Street. Heather's shot was looking down this way, and my shot is looking uh, over here. This is Miller Park. Miller Park, and uh, this is ML King, and this is this is five thirty-second exposures blended in um, in Photoshop. With the 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 blending mode was uh, oh let me let me just full screen that. He said he zoomed fast. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. The blending mode was uh, lighten, like you would do on a star trail, 
And uh, this building right here is owned by Senator Bob Corker. And Heather used to work in this building. Mm -hmm. And then she worked a few blocks down that way, and now she works in the kitchen. <laughs> There's the dome building. Which, Same company every time. Yeah, she hasn't changed jobs since I've known her, but mm -hmm. uh, she's changed work locales three times. Mm -hmm. Four if you count moving here. Yeah. Anyway, Chattanooga. Okay, this was um, this was in the video that we did from... Um, Chickamauga. Yeah, from Chickamauga Battlefield. And I, I thought this picture was cool because this is... This is, it's still daytime, but it's dark enough, or it's, it's, it's still, it's sunrise, but it's dark enough to where cars are running their headlights. And this is a one minute exposure. Uh, it says 900 seconds, but it's not, it's, it's one minute. It was going to be a 15 minute, but I turned it off. 200 millimeters with a 10 stop neutral density filter. And the, the 200 millimeter NIST compressed this curve. We were a long way from it. Anyway. Full screen. Oh crap. <laughs> Full screen. Let's see what the next one. I, I think I submitted three. Ah, now this one we made. Uh, when did we make this? this Sunday Sun night. Sunday night. This video hasn't come out yet. This is uh, a 50 second exposure with the X-T3. This is my daughter and her friend Ian. And this is on this... this um, Aluminum? Yeah, this aluminum bridge. It used to be glass. The The floor of it used to be glass. And when it was glass, the floor was lit up. And you could make this leading lines shot looking down at the Tennessee Aquarium in the background. It was really cool. And um, when the video comes out, you can see every second of the 50 seconds while we made this. I pressed the shutter. Heather, who was holding the, the vlogging camera and, the, and, a, and a speed light not connected to a camera... She counted down the 10 second timer before the shot started. Then she hit the flash. And after she hit the flash, my daughter and her friend left the frame. So the flash lit them up. And then, then when they left the frame, you could see everything through them because there's 48 more seconds of shot. And I took a flashlight and drug it slowly down this railing. And then you can see where I crossed over right here. And then I push the flashlight slowly up this railing. And the whole time, Heather is counting down how long till the shutter closes so I make so I can be sure and be out of the shot when the shutter closes. So anyway, that is an X-T3 shot. Mike what? wants to know how many buds that one took. Well, this is <laughs> uh, right up here. This is a bar called Whiskey Thief. And I did have two... Um, they were some sort of pilsner. Yeah, it was. It, it tastes just like Pabst Blue Ribbon, but it costs seven dollars, <laughs> so it's the most expensive Pabst Blue Ribbon ever. But I did have two of those right up here at this bar before we made that shot. Mm -hmm. Over here, this is the beginning of the Walnut Street pedestrian bridge that we use all the time on the channel, and this little bridge goes over Riverside Drive. Uh, anyway, it was fun. And Heather, what's the name of the um, what's the name of the painting? Oh, American Gothic? Yeah, American Gothic. Heather said that, that my daughter and her friend's pose remind her of the uh, famous American Gothic painting from like 1930. Anyway, it was, it was a pretty good night. That, we, that, that video will be pretty cool when it comes out because it's got a lot of other interesting photography besides this. Heather did some cool stuff. And the, the uh, Heather's, a couple of Heather's dog pictures from her paid gig yeah. will be in that video. So look out for, for that one when it comes out. Uh, in late December, early January. And there is Ray Soldano. Now, this is pretty cool. Last night, last night, me and Heather and some guy named David Sailors, Georgia <laughs> photographer. I'm not sure if y'all have ever heard of him. <laughs> uh, anyway, he, uh, the, the three of us um, went down to the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. We were invited by my friend Ray Soldano and um we did some photography this was we made this last night i i, I don't have I, I you know we got a whole video coming from this but um I, I don't have any of my shots from that night in in today's live stream i haven't even finished making this video but it was a cool evening so this is ray shot this is looking down vine street uh 
This is the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga campus. I love this C over here on the side. And he made this with a, a D850 and a 85 millimeter F1.8, three seconds F16 at the lowest ISO 64. Really cool. We, we, it was just a little while after sunset, so you still got some some color in the sky. Although it basically looked pitch dark while we were there, but yeah. Anyway, very cool. RaySoldano.com. And this is also from last night. This is uh, same camera, D800, but he used his 24 to 70 2.8 Tamron lens. Uh, this is Patton Chapel. Mm -hmm. This is Patton Chapel, and this is a ginkgo biloba. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a ginkgo tree. Yeah, and it's huge. Uh, you you can't tell how huge it is, but I took a, a picture of me and Heather and and Ray standing right here, and you know I'm six three and I barely come up to here. This tree is huge and beautiful. Look, it's you know most we're, we're uh, as Blue Newt calls it, we're in stick stick season but this tree still has all its leaves and not they hadn't even lost them some of them are still green um i want to come back and shoot this during the day yeah. uh, you know all the light was from this crazy floodlight but uh anyway this is also on the campus of the university of tennessee at chattanooga thanks ray oh i think that's 16 by 9 full screen oh yeah very cool All right, this is Richard Young, who always writes an informative email, so let's go read it. Hello, Phil and Heather. Unfortunately, I have only one photograph for you this time. This Aww. is the Christmas market in Mannheim, Germany last year. Sadly, there is no Christmas market Aww. this year. Well, that's, that's the way this year has been. The photograph shows the market in the city with the famous water tower behind it. I used a 15 second exposure because I wanted to blur out the people that were crossing the street in front of the market and unintentionally captured some light trails. Mm -hmm. I really like the trail from the red light on the bicycle. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I used one of my favorite lenses, the Nikon Tilt Shift Perspective Control 24mm PC hyphen E 24mm and I really like the soft light stars it produced at F9. It's a great lens to use with manual focus. So let's look at it. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should full screen it. Yeah, that's cool. So the, I guess mm -hmm. this is the bicycle. Mm -hmm. It looks like it might have parked right here. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. I like the light up here on top of this. Mm -hmm. Very nice, and the and the the stars are are pretty, like he was saying. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay, now let's see. I also wanted to send you one of my favorite recent photographs from the Baltic Sea in northern Germany last week. No light trails here, just beautiful light and very cold. I. I was very, I very rarely shoot handheld with the Nikon D850, and this was one of those moments when I really wished that I'd carried my tripod. Uh, 1 500 f8 ISO 640 with the 24 to 72.8. That is so. Uh, that I is love so, this. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. It, it's, it's interesting because I, w I wonder if he was really down low. Mm-hmm. Uh, or maybe that's just the way this beach is. You know, the the beaches I'm used to in Florida, you can see the sea behind the waves. But I like this where the, you, you just see the waves and maybe a little, little tiny bit of the sea and then it's the horizon line. Yeah. Anyway, it's very cool. Look at the birds. Tell Joy good night. She had to go. Good night, Joy. Hope you feel better. Hope you feel better soon. Sorry. All right. Thank, yeah, thank. I, I like the color in this too. Yeah. I like it a lot. It's like Blue Note said, beautifully minimal. Yes, that's a good way to put it. All right. Thank you, Richard. All right, now this is Turner Randolph, and I and I, I could be wrong. 
but I was thinking that this might be the first time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is his first time submitting pictures. So this, so that is really awesome. Hi, Phil and Heather. I've attached three first for the next stream challenge. The first was my first Star Trail photo, 75 images. Oh wow. Yeah, and you, you know what the name of this star right here is? That is. Um... Well, it's not North Star because it would be in the center. Uh, well, I mean, it's got to be. Is it Saturn? Uh, it's, I'm thinking it's Polaris, the North Star. Oh, you think they, that I mean, one's they, Polaris? Yeah, that's the only. That's the only. That'll be in the middle of any. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, sorry, I, was, I interrupted my reading. <laughs> Seventy-five inches. That was successful. The second. Oh, well, we, we should look at the first one first. This is the first one really cool and you know the 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 way that we've been heather and i have blended light trails where you do multiple shots mm -hmm. and, and you stack them and align them and lighten the blend mode of lighten that's the same that's the same way you do um star trails like this uh i haven't done a whole lot of star trail shots but it's it sure is fun to do and this one's just cool mm -hmm. uh looking up the hill at this cabin with the lights on inside, or and at least the snow glistening. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't even. I, I totally missed that. That's you know that the the key with doing a, a shot like this with doing a star trail is you have to have an interesting foreground element. Mm -hmm. And uh, mission accomplished. And that's an ultra wide, 14 millimeter shot. Let's see. He doesn't say what lens. That might be uh that might be the Rokinon, 14 2.8. Okay, thank you, Turner. First time caller. Hmm. I like this one a lot. Very cool. All right, let's see. Uh, the second was my first Milky Way nightscape. 13 images, success. I've never gotten a Milky Way shot anywhere near like that. That is just yeah, awesome. this is beautiful. You know, uh, uh, astrophotography is probably, uh, you know, and I love doing all kinds of photography. Astro is my weakest link. Uh, it's too late at night <laughs> to practice, but that's fantastic. Yeah, that's he said it was the Samyang Rokinon 14. I cool. I've, I've got one of those. Very, very pretty. Great job. Yeah, I love this. I wonder, he doesn't say where that lighthouse is, I don't think. But it's really cool. This one's oh okay, okay. This one's probably that same lens, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three hundred twenty-five seconds. But he said it was uh, thirteen images stacked to get that. That's cool. All right. This is pretty. And let's see. And third is my first meteor shower. One image success. All three took a ton of work and I made some errors on each that I've learned from. The Milky Way shot didn't come out that great around the top of the lighthouse. I thought it looked wonderful. <laughs> Every time I stack the 13 photos to make the one sequator, which I may be pronouncing that wrong, really messed up around the lighthouse. I definitely need to light paint a little better next time. The meteor was a complete accident. I have been shooting the Leonot, Leon, help me pronounce that. A meteor shower all night hey, uh, after a bear encounter. Now, uh, is this the world famous uh, Parksville Lake cypress trees near near Greasy Creek? Is that is that where this is? Oh, wait, he told us where the lighthouse is. He said it's the Hatteras or Hatteras Lighthouse in the Outer Banks. Okay, cool. North Carolina. I wonder if that's the Parksville Lake trees. I had been shooting a meteor shower all night after a bear encounter and was light painting when the largest of the largest of the night ripped across the sky. It was massive. I used luminosity masks with exposure cranked up five stops to create the mask, then painted oh. it back in. Yep, Greasy Creek. Very cool, yeah. A million, you know, it's amazing because I've seen a million shots of that place. And and like my sh my shot looks nothing like that except for you can kind of tell it's the same trees, and and I mean that's a great place to do photography and a great shot. 
wonderful job never thought about doing uh, Astro at that location but it makes perfect sense now yeah that's fantastic He look says, at, even look at the reflection. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's great. Yeah, what's the... Uh, it's, that's only 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it's pretty calm right there. It's not anywhere near the main mm -hmm. channel or anything. Yeah. I mean, the water gets pretty stinky, so you know Yeah, it's... yeah when, I, when I did my... Uh, what was it? How long was mine? I think mine was like a five minutes. Five minutes, minute, Five I minute shot. I was, I was standing in the water. Uh, and my, uh, I was really stinky. That's some funky water right there where it's, cause it's kind of stagnant. Mm -hmm. uh, very cool. Thanks for for uh, participating, Turner. We hope to we hope to see you here again. Thank you so much. All right, Vince. I think this may be. Uh, oh, I messed that up. Where are you at, Vince? Okay, here we go. Hi, Phil and Heather. I'm sending four photos this time, but if you need to will it down, no, we're, we're going to show them all. This is a Ferris wheel in downtown old Sacramento with a Nikon Z6 2470F 2.8S and 1.3 seconds. You know, I've, I've never done a long exposure on a Ferris wheel, but I see that I, I really <laughs> definitely, you know, I, that's just really cool. Yeah, it is. Yours and, and oops. Oops, what are you doing, I, honey? I um, didn't realize I could roll the mouse and scroll pictures. <laughs> but that's really cool. That is yeah. very cool indeed. Yeah, next time a, next time a, a, a traveling fair comes to town, we are going. <laughs> Standing outside the fence with our cameras. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, this is cool. Thank you, Vince. This is a ceiling fan. This is great. I never would have thought to shoot a ceiling fan. Why can I not find it? It was in that same email chain, honey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> okay, maybe it's down. I don't know. There we there go. There it is. Okay, uh, our ceiling fan with fairy lights attached. It's so cool. <laughs> it's cool. You know, you. I would think it would have been a longer than a uh, longer than a two second exposure. He must have had that fan cranking. But uh, F9 ISO 800 two seconds. Very nice yeah, and interesting. Funny. Like I was saying at the beginning, w with long exposure, you can really get creative. This is cool too. Yeah, I like this. Let's see what this is of. Looks like a train station or something. Yeah. This is one of the light rail stations in Folsom. California Nikon Z6 35 f 1.8 s for one second. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That'd be beautiful even without the train in it. Yeah. It's, yeah, I like this. Uh, yeah, it's really pretty. Full screen. Full screen. Yeah. You can even see like the signs. Yeah, you can the, see the on side. the other side of the train. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I didn't notice that. And this is kind of a more traditional uh, car light trail. Let's see if we, if we can figure out where this is. Folsom Boulevard Bridge over the American River in Folsom, California. Also with the 35 F 1.8 at 8 tenths of a second. Very nice. That's pretty. I like all the street yeah. lights. It's got some, that lens has got some pretty cool stars too. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Vince. Let's flip through these pictures one more time, just to just to say we did. Look at all the pictures we got tonight. Thank you, everyone. Once I get done flipping through these, 
I'm going to delete them and then we're going to talk about the date of our next live stream and uh, the photo challenge and this is a photo challenge that you probably already have done or maybe you haven't yet so uh, we shall see grid and let me highlight that one and hold down shift and highlight that one and hit delete delete from disk bye bye okay so uh, next challenge Yay. like I was saying it's probably one you already have done I'm asking you to send in your favorite photo or photos of 2020 and uh, two weeks from tonight is Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve so we're definitely not going to do a live stream then uh, so our next live stream is going to be January 7th and I'm not sure we may go to one live stream a month instead of uh, every two weeks I haven't decided yet but the the next live stream is definitely January the 7th at 6 o'clock USA Eastern Time um, 6 and o'clock? Yeah it's always at six. Yeah, I Did thought I? you said. I thought you said seven o'clock. Oh, you might not have. Oh, it's Mike's birthday that day. Oh, happy birthday! Mine's to a week you. before that. Oh, a poor thing. Have to watch a boring live stream on your birthday. That's kind of sad. I, <laughs> I apologize about that. You can watch it later. You don't. I mean, you should be. You should be uh, swinging from that lighted ceiling fan. Woo! Mike Mitchell. On your birthday, or making some some uh, some two beer um, <laughs> laser pointer. Some two beer welcome to the matrix photos that's awesome so uh send in your favorite picture if you can't decide on just one i we send in two or three uh you are we are we are very <laughs> <laughs> and uh um anything else you need to say have i forgotten anything uh happy holidays merry christmas yeah, and hey, all that stuff yeah i hope everybody has a has a great holiday and uh See your family if you can, and if not, uh, do like my family did and Zoom. We Zoomed for Thanksgiving. for Thanksgiving. It was fun. I had people from, it was kind of like this. I, I had uh, people from Florida and people from Tennessee and people from London, uh, all in our family Christmas Zoom. Thanksgiving Zoom. Yeah, Thanksgiving Zoom. So we <laughs> actually got to see more of the family because we did it on zoom than if we had all gotten together because we just can't all get together but we could all zoom so that was pretty cool don't forget uh four weeks from tonight uh send your picture to fill stream pics please if you can rename the file to your name.jpg and your name to.jpg uh watermarks are good and uh, of course when I get done I'll, I'll delete your picture but just in case somehow I don't delete your picture if it's watermarked I can say oh okay I know whose that is and then delete it but I mean they get deleted yeah but uh, anyway we appreciate you joining us tonight and um, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Oh, I know there was one more thing doggone it that I meant to mention earlier in this video David Sailors and I did a, a, a collaboration video and it is going to be awesome and both of our videos come out at 7 30 this coming saturday morning and we we hiked the sittens gulch trail all the way to uh that waterfall which has a name that i can't remember right now and hemlock. yeah probably hemlock falls and the, the we when we did our hike it had rained all day the night before or the day before and fall color was absolutely at its peak so it it's it's going to be a good video and we me and david had a really good time so check out both of our videos and now we can say bye i can't believe i forgot to mention that earlier <laughs> it's okay <laughs> thanks for watching y'all have a great night happy holidays and we look forward to seeing you in 2021 in 2021 and uh we got lots of great videos coming up including the one with david bye bye, -bye.